Okay, we'll take questions around the room. First question on two, second row in the aisle. Dave? Thanks, Xavier. Dave McRennan with ESPN. On your left. Uh, uh, what was it like for you as a teammate to see Jalen and Jason uh, outscore the Mavericks on their own in the third quarter, and then both of them make key plays down the stretch in the fourth after the Dallas had made it a game again? Um, those are our leaders. So for them to step up how they did in the third quarter and just kind of take the game over um, is what we needed. And they, you know, they came through for us. And especially in the fourth quarter with those last four to five minutes where we were just struggling to get a bucket, like they willed in the buckets, you know. And, you know, at times that's what you need. And, and they responded and we needed it for sure. Fifth row on the right. Uh, hey, X, uh, Jackson Moan SB Nation. With KP out, you guys obviously lose one of the best rim protectors in the league. You come in, you play a very switch-heavy style. Luca was going at you a little bit, got a few stops on at him. What's it like sort of playing this different brand of basketball when you are, have to just step in with guys who have been playing a different brand with KP sort of on the back line and then being able to let the guys pass him? Like, how easy is it to just jump in and, and be ready to go? Um, this is something, as far as staying ready, is something that I've been doing for majority of my career. My rookie, I was fortunate enough to play uh, because when my, my best friend was hurt, Jaron was recovering for his meniscus, so I was starting a lot. Second year, I was out of rotation. Third year, two guys got injured, Brandon Clark, Steven Adams, so I stepped up again. You know what I'm saying? So this is something that like I've been preparing for, I guess, for a while now. Um, so I was, you know, ready for the opportunity. They were kind of hinting at potentially, you know, if, if KP's workout didn't go well and he didn't feel comfortable that I was going to have to step in today. John, back right. Hey, John Corrales, Boston Sports Journal. Joe said that he went to you because of your time in Memphis and because you are familiar with a similar defensive strategy against Luka Doncic and, and the Mavs. Can you kind of walk us through that how comfortable you were and, and how helpful that was in you stepping in. Yeah, <clears throat> I'm very comfortable. I feel like switching is like my bread and butter defensively. That's something that allows me to use my quick feet and my strength to be able to kind of bump guys off versus being in a drop coverage and having to use my <laughs> vertical leap. <laughs> so for me, being able to switch and stuff like that is more catered for me. So being able to get subbed in and used for those opportunities, you know, I feel like I can excel majority of the time. Right here in the front. Uh, Noah Dalzell, SB Nation. Uh, Xavier, you've had relatively limited stints during this postseason, but now on the most important stage, you're playing really significant minutes and hitting a really important three. Uh, what are the emotions that you felt in that moment when you saw that shot go in, the bench go crazy, and what are you feeling right now? Um... I knew that when I saw Maxi Kleber go to the to the block that I was going to shoot regardless of anything. Um, and then, you know, their bench was talking, so it was kind of cool to be able to hit it and, and look at the bench as well. Um, but to hear, you know, the bench going crazy on our end, you know, guys like Svi and O'Shea and stuff like that, um, it was pretty awesome because those are my guys. You know, those are my SRG guys each day in and day out. We, we go to war with each other to try to better each other, to be ready for whoever's name gets called. So for them to celebrate me and be hyped for me is pretty, too, is pretty cool. Steve up front. Steve Buckley, from the, Steve Buckley from the Athletic. Your coach was sharing some UFC with us before the game about when you think you have your opponent beaten, that's when you're going to sucker punch you and so forth. Mm -hmm. well, now you're up three zip and you're at the precipice of winning a championship. What are you expecting from your coach over the next couple of days to reinforce that message? Uh, I expect him to do whatever is needed for us to be ready to go. I feel like for us coming into this next game, we have to be locked and loaded. I feel like we can't come in there thinking that they're going to roll over. Um, even though we were up 20 today, they didn't quit, you know. So for us, being up 20 is not enough. You know, we got to try to push the lead as far as we can. And, um, yeah, no, I expect Coach to go over the film probably to tonight, you know, knowing him. And, and tomorrow we're going to have a game plan as far as the things that we could, you know, work on and, and come into practice tomorrow and be ready to work on it. Any other questions? Thank you. Yep.